the blaze, Locust Street and Edge Hill Road. Investigate the fire now burning in the Continental Warehouse. You'll find empty packing cases heavily insured. Also, evidence indicating arson. being in the warehouse. Do you think the Sentinel's covering him up? No. Al is the only one who knew he was there, and Al isn't talking. It's a lucky thing I got Crawford away before the police arrived at his home. We still don't know how much Crawford told the Hornet. The Hornet sure wrecked our insurance deal. He wouldn't have if I'd followed my hunch and put Ferranti on the job. You must have a lot of confidence in Ferranti, making him head of the building association. Why shouldn't I have? He's put over everything I've asked him to. But he's got a bad reputation. That's what helps him grab control and hold it. The association members don't want him. Well, they've got him. If we lost control of the association, we'd lose a cool million. But Ferranti will swing them into line or wreck it. Oh, I'm afraid the Sentinel will blast him clear out of town. Oh, no, they won't. They won't dare attack the association or anything it does. I hope you're right. A newspaper has other obligations, Gunnigan, besides news. It has a duty to the public. You know, freedom of the press doesn't mean much unless we use that freedom. And for the public good. But an editorial attack on the head of a big association is dynamite. 
He's head of that association because of force, not because they want him. Ferranti is a known racketeer, and the Sentinel's going to keep on telling the people that until he's thrown out. Well, all the men working under him are on the level. Of course they are, but they're scared stiff. I don't blame him. Ferranti doesn't use kid gloves. <laughs> Brass knuckles are more his style. I just got a phone call. It's about Ferranti. From whom? A, a guy that wouldn't give his name. I just happened to answer a phone in the city room. And... Will you please learn to get to the point? Holy crow, I will if you'll let me. Take it easy, Michael. The guy said he called because the Sentinel was trying to toss Ferranti out of the association and he wanted to help. Well, what does he propose doing? Well, I don't know, but he wants me to meet him in the dark canyon road tonight. He told me to come in a car alone and to blink me lights twice. All right, go ahead. Will I go, Reed? Yes, if you can get anything on Ferranti, you're in line for a bonus. You'll be there and right on time. Yes, sir. Time to move. Everything is ready, sir. Axford's heading into something. He may need help. You mean to be there before him? Yes. Black Beauty all set? Yes, sir. Good. Whatever happens, the Green Hornet's going to have a hand in it. Slow down. Axford's swinging off the road. under those trees ahead and stand by. I'll go closer and watch. Are you the reporter? Yeah, Sentinel. I blinked me lights twice, like you told me. All right, get out. I'll wait till I get me a flash. Never mind your flash. Well, holy crow, I've got to have a look at you. Nix. I'll give it to you in the dark. Are you? I'm not saying. But you have got dirt on Ferranti. Plenty. If he knew it, he'd have me rubbed out. All right, what is it? Well, Ferranti's stealing money from the Builders Association. He gets a salary of $10,000 a year, but he's building a house worth a hundred grand out of 648 Woodlawn. Oh, sure, Ferranti'd have to register his name. Well, it's a dummy outfit. But it's his house, I tell you. All right, smart guy. Don't move. Same goes for you, too, Snoopy. It's Ferranti's men. They've got guns. That's right, Hanson. And we got orders to use them, too. So, you're shooting off your mouth. Well, it's just too bad. You can't get away with this. We're going to. And what's more, we're going to take care of you, too. A Snoopy reporter is just as bad as a squealer. <laughs> fellow shot and the other fellow's knocked out. One of them has to go to the hospital and the other to headquarters for questions. Yes, yes, I know all about that. We know what to do. Now pull yourself together and tell us what happened. Oh, sure. The whole 12 of them jumped me together. Pretty good story, Larry. Thank you, my public. Yes. Yes, sir. Boss wants you, Larry. Aha! Uh -huh. Did you check on the dope Axford got from Hanson? Yes, there's a house being built at that address on Woodlawn by a man named Breeden. I checked, but there's no tie between him and Ferrani. Yeah, but there must be. Yeah, I know there must be. But try and prove it. Who is this fellow named Breeden? Nobody in particular. Here's his prison address. Reading there? Yes. What name, please? Never mind. I'll announce myself. Which one of you guys is Reed? My name is Reed. Pretty young to be running a paper like the Sentinel. Yeah? 
Ain't bad. My name is... I know your name, and I don't like it. What do you want here, Ferranti? Pretty snappy story you run about me this morning, wasn't it? I come up to tell you I don't like it, see? So you don't like it, eh? No. I run the association, see? This stuff's bad for the public. They might think the association don't want me to be boss. They might think I'm running a racket. And you're not, of course. Of, of course not. The association made me boss, and they're going to keep me. Get this, Ferranti. You're a racketeer, and the Sentinel's going to prove it. We're going to pin you up in headlines for the whole city to see. You don't say. One of your gorillas shot a man the other night. That man's in the hospital. So what? So this. That man's going to talk, and plenty. You mean Hanson? Yes. What are you grinning about? The Sentinel won't get no story. Hanson's dead. He died a few minutes ago. You can't get a story from a dead man. Can you? Hanson gone, that leaves Axford's word against Snipes. You know what a clever lawyer would do with Axford. You don't have to tell me. Sentinel's up a tree. Have the police released Snipe yet? Yes, Ferranti's lawyer showed up with a writ of habeas corpus. Well, Ferranti will get Snipe out of town fast. Which leaves us exactly nothing. Of course, there's Axford's theory. What, another one? No, the same one. Oh. Hello, Braden. This is the Green Hornet. Why, what do you want with me? I know all about the game you're playing with Ferrani. Why, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you do. And I'm going to cut in. You're going to sell me that house. Cheap. Sell it to you? Why, you're crazy. Ferrani would kill me. I've made up my mind, Breeden. I'll be seeing you. Got the bill of sale ready? Yes, sir. All right, keep your gloves on so there won't be any fingerprints on it. All right, let's go. Where to? Ferrani's office. I learned about him today. He'll be there. See, today was payday for Ferrari. That's Ferrari's office where the light is. He's due for a surprise. Are you sure you put a light charge in the gas gun? Yes, sir. It will knock a person out for a few moments only. Good. Wait here. You're taking a big chance grabbing association funds. Quit you worrying. Nobody checks up on me. I got everything my own way. Could even get away with murder on this job. Yeah? This is for Eddie. Didn't I tell you not to call me? You know what the Sentinel's trying to prove? You want to fix it for him? I had to call you. The Green Hornet phoned me a little while ago. The Green Hornet? Yes. Wanted me to play ball with him. Oh. So the Hornet wanted you to join up with him, huh? Well, get this, Breeden. That house belongs to me and you work for me, understand? So don't try any funny business or it'll be curtains. He's got a... Careful. What do you want? That money. Belongs to the association. That didn't stop you from taking it. Kill him. No, I haven't. He's only gassed. Get back. I made a little deal with Breeden, and I don't want any interference. Breeden and Hornet. By the time Ferranti comes to, everything will be settled. I'll put the rest of that money in the bag and hurry. Ferranti's getting off easy. He's not only a racketeer and a murderer, but he's wrecking an association of honest working men, undermining its morale, murdering those who protest. Don't try to follow me, or you'll get what he did.
money is in that bag? Yes. I'd like to turn it over to charity, but it belongs to the Builders Association. The best way to get it back to them is to carry out our plan. Then we will go to Mr. Breeden's? Yes, quickly. No, it's no trick, officer. The Hornet said he'd be here. Yes, that's right. Well, hurry, please. Who's there? Open up, Breeden. Who is it? I've come from Ferranti. Ferranti? Oh, oh, yes, just a second. The Hornet! I said I'd be seeing you. You don't need that gun. Listen. You listen. Remember what I told you? I can't play ball with you, Hornet. For anything, skin me alive. Breeden and the Hornet are working together. Breeden's double-crossed you. I'll fix that rat. But, but what about the Hornet? I'll fix him, too. You said something about the house. I'm going to buy it. You can't do that. It's cr It's Ferranti's. Who did you start to say? Ferranti. He sunk dough in it. The Sentinel said it was Ferranti's, but he denied it. I can't help that. Hello, hello. Oh, sure, he, he's not in there, and he don't answer just when I need him most. Uh, who are you calling? Reed. For what? But I just had word from headquarters. Breeden's called the police. Breeden? Why? The Green Hornet's going to call on him. Then what are you standing here for? Well, I... Why don't you go out there and cover it? Well, I... I you I flat footed imitation of a reporter. Get going. Yes. Well, who does the house belong to? Ferranti. I don't believe you. It's true. I'm acting as his cover-up, so the law won't grab him for using association funds. Well, from now on, you're acting for me. I've got a bill of sale with me, and you're going to sign it. Why do you keep watching that clock? I was just looking. You're trying to pull a fast one. I'm not. Honest. Open it. Inside she's the Ferranti. I, I thought it was the cops. You and the Hornet, eh? Pulling a fast one. Well, I'm gonna get him too. Where is he? He's not here. I didn't. What's that? It's my dough, ain't it? I couldn't help it. He made me. He had a gun. What do you think this is? A water pistol? All I know is you and the Hornet crossed me up. Well, now I'm gonna hold it, Ferranti. Easy, boys. This harness is a slippery one. Now, here's what we better do. Help me get him out of here. We can't go that way. The police are in front. Where's Ferrandi's car? In back, behind the garage. We'll take him out that way. I'll go in first and run him out, and you'll be watching for him. Okay, Irish. Get going. Where is he? Are you an officer? I'm as good as one. Where well, you is? came just in time. Ferranti tried to shoot me. Ferranti? This driveway, which goes past the front of the house, is the only way out. You try to draw off the police while I make my getaway. Ferranti's been stealing association funds. I can prove it. I can prove the Hanson murder, too. Ferranti planned it. Holy crow, why didn't you say that before when I asked you? Because my life wasn't in danger then, but now it is. That's the Hornet's car. He must have got away from Axford. Suffering snakes, the green hornet. I was forgetting all about him. You wait here till I come back. Hornet, where is he? That's what we want to know. I got a prisoner in there by the name of Breeden. Hold him for me. You follow the hundred. I'll come after you in my own car. 